Hello there, Don Valley Eagles. Thanks to Zoe and the team at, at Don Valley for getting me there virtually at least to be able to talk to the players today. I'm really excited about sharing some of the key lessons and stuff that I do, working with athletes to help them shine online, to help them take their online reputation and identity to the next level. So my name's Ryan Mobilia and I'm really excited to talk to you today. I'm the author of Social Media Scouting Report, helping athletes to shine online. And I'm also the owner of Valuable Impact, an organization that helps professional athletes, it helps junior elite athletes, athletes looking to take their sports to the next level in the way that they're representing themselves online and putting themselves out there in a really positive light to get opportunities as opposed to miss out on opportunities. So today we're gonna to talk about relatively briefly understanding your audience online, the importance of thinking before you post, building a strong online reputation and actually setting yourself apart and getting opportunities. So this is nothing like your school social media talk. This is not cyber safety. This is not cyber bullying. This is, that all of that should be taken care of at school and something that hopefully you're well on top of. But this is more about those people like yourselves who are looking to take their athletic careers, they want to play sport professionally, they want to represent their club, represent their region, represent their team, represent their league to the highest level. That's what we're talking about here. People that actually want to get to somewhere fantastic with what they're doing, just like you do. And why is that so important? Because every day, whether you realize it or not, how you interact online is being judged by people. People that are in a position to offer or deny you opportunities are looking at your content. They're looking at the body of your work and the things that you post and the messages and the shares and the comments and the retweets and the snaps. More people are seeing that than you think and those people are really important in the world. It's not just your friends. You might have a thousand friends and think, well, you know, I know all of them. You might have a thousand followers on Instagram and think, well, I know all of them and I know who's seeing my content. I know how that's impacting my reputation. Unfortunately, you're wrong. Many more people can see your content than you think. So it's so important to be aware of that audience and are they going to be able to look back at that and say, you know what? I saw something there that really made me question your character. It became a red flag in something really important. That's what we want to avoid. And that's why I'm making sure I talk to you today about this. So your audience is much bigger than you think it is. Maybe there's a coach in your audience on social media. Maybe there's a school principal. Maybe there's a college coach. Maybe there's a potential recruiter. Maybe there's a potential sponsor. Maybe there's an employer. There's always someone that's there that you didn't know about that's making up their mind about you based on what they find. So now that you know that people are watching, why is it so important to think before you post? You might've heard this before, think before you post, pause before you put content out there on social media. Because now we know that people are watching and they're actually judging our character, making up assumptions about our actual worth based on what they find. I consistently hear from employers and college coaches, other people in a position to offer you great, great things in life that they see things on social media that immediately get people crossed off the list for recruitment. And oftentimes, the people that get crossed off the list or kicked off teams, fired from jobs, based on their social media, you know, sometimes never hear about that that was the reason that they missed out on those jobs so they continue down that path. Things like the material that you post online is the only image we have of you. Treat your social media pages like a resume or interview because we do. That's amazing, isn't it? How many people in this audience here would be happy to, you know, send links to their social media pages as a representation of them, as their resume? Do you think it's representing you really well right now? Because if it's not, great. You've got an opportunity now to start fixing that. If you don't think that your social media pages represent what you're all about in person, it's time to start changing that, okay? 
you know, things like I dropped another prospect this morning due to their social media presence. Actually glad I got to see the real person before I offered them a chance. It's pretty amazing, but first impressions count so much and your online presence is so often where that first impression comes from. Recruiters, employers, coaches take what they see there as the real you. You may not have thought about that before, but actually what you're putting out there on your social media, people take as the real you and first impressions count. So what first impression are you giving people? I try to get people to think about it. And this might be something you do with your coaches, it might be something you do with your family, or you just do personally with your friends or later on tonight. Think about if someone had to sum you up about all the great things to do with you that you want people to know, what would those things be? If you only had a chance to hand someone a list of five to ten things and, and you had to be confident that them seeing that list, they would get to know you really well and they would know what you're all about and what you stand for, what you want to be known for, what would be on that list for you? As young athletes, it might be, you know, your sport. It would be a great team, team player, a leader, coachable, care about your friends, care about your family, care about your community, these values and characteristics that you want to be known for and the thing that you are known for personally that maybe aren't translating to your social media right now. How can you, how can you create a list and make sure that those five to ten things start shining through through your social media so that when someone tries to get that first impression, they see, you know what, they told me they were all about friends and family and I can see that through their posts. They told me that they were appreciative of their opportunities and I can see that through their posts. They're showing that they're thankful for their friends, they're thankful for their coaches, they're thankful to their parents for helping them get to where they've got to. You know, they lift up people as opposed to bring them down. It really comes down to this. Is what you're putting out there helping your reputation or hurting it. And ultimately, it's always going to be one of those two things. And the reason it's so important, like I said, that people take those judgments of you from your social media accounts. People lose opportunities that have nothing to do with how good they are on the court, on the field, because of what they're posting online. It happens all the time. You take care of the on-court, you take care of the training, you take care of the nutrition, you take care of the sleep, you take care of the mindset, you know, the stretching, but you leave social media and your online reputation just hanging out there when so often it's the very first thing that someone doesn't know you yet goes to look at. So how are you representing yourself? How are you representing your club? And are you really shining online? There's probably three types of reputations at the moment that you're, you're fitting into. The good, the bad, or the invisible. Towards the, the final years of your teenage years, you probably move away from being really, really private on social media to maybe start looking at ways that you can set yourself apart and create a good, good online reputation. A lot of you are probably sitting in that invisible stage at the moment where you know, you're hidden behind privacy walls, which is, which is fine. And just remember that privacy walls don't always... Um, people can still see content, okay? It's a risk. If, any, if anyone there has their Instagram on private, that's not a reason to just be posting whatever you want because what happens when a coach or an employer adds you as a friend on Facebook or on Instagram? They're going to look through your content. It's too risky. And of course, if someone screenshots a piece of content of yours that you may be friends with and they share it to people, well, the audience for that is unlimited. So be really careful about that stuff. So getting back to online reputation, being good, bad, or invisible, the bad, of course, is the person who is swearing, is talking about drugs, is... Um, you know, putting other people down, cyberbullying, and we know that that'll get you crossed off lists, regardless of how good of a player you are, because people care about character. The invisible is someone, like I said, is, is maybe in that in-between phase where they're just coming out of um, hiding behind uh, privacy settings and walls, which is absolutely fine. There's some key areas, though, that I want you to start thinking about if you're moving from that invisible into a good reputation space. By all means, keep your accounts on private. But there's some things that regardless of whether your account's on private, people can still see. Things like your cover image. Things like your profile picture. 
things like your bio. There are three really key basic areas that I often you know, do a deep dive into with athletes about making sure that they're telling the best story about themselves in that section. Go back to your list of the things that you really want to be known for. Have a look at your social media and say, would people agree with that based on only getting to know me via my social media? I said, I, I want to be known as a great teammate. If someone looked at my Instagram page right now, they wouldn't know that. They said, I said I want to be known as a hard worker. If someone looked at my Facebook profile picture or my cover image, would they get that? So what story can you tell in your profile picture, your cover image and your bio at the very least? Put those keywords in your bio. Put the people you care about in your bio. Put the things and the sports that you care about in your bio. Make your username something readable and findable. You, you know, you're moving from someone who probably potentially didn't want to be found to someone now who's moving into that stage of actually, you know what, if I can do this really well, or at the very least not hurt my chances, then if I'm applying for a position, if I'm trying to get recruited, if I'm trying to get a job interview, um, if I'm trying to make a team, or become a coach, whatever the opportunity might be, become the team leader or captain, what could be the thing that gives me that slight edge over someone else? Your online reputation could really be that thing. It's so competitive sports. People are on a very similar level. They went to the same school. They are the same height, play the same position, from the same region. What's going to be the thing that sets you apart? And it absolutely can make a difference, making sure that you're representing yourself really well online. That might be the thing that gets you over the line. Absolutely. So... To conclude, here are some things to think about. Have I thought about what my social media presence looks like? Have I thought about the person who never gets to know what's great about me in person and how they might look at me online if it's the only chance they get to know me? What am I looking like online and what would they say about me? Don't leave it too late. You might not think you're in a position to go for a job now or apply for college or whatever that other opportunities might be coming in your sports or career. Don't leave it too late. Clean your social media as you go along. If anyone's ever worked at McDonald's there, they have a saying, clean as you go. It's really important to make sure that you don't leave a whole bunch of mess, i.e. negative posts or things that you could have tidied up to untag and things like that, right until the night before a coach adds you as a friend right before the night before you go to a job interview or put an application in. Other, because things slip through the cracks, all right? You don't want to go through eight years of Facebook trying to find things that might be hurting your reputation. On the flip side, starting now to post things that lift other people up, being thankful, being grateful, showcasing your community and your team and your teammates, that would really start building your social media presence up in terms of having a strong impact when someone comes to visit it. So overall, and I know this has been a relatively short session, we talked about making sure that you're understanding that your audience is big and it's important and they're watching. It's important to think before you post. You need to have a think about what you're known for online and what you want to be known for online. So what are those things that you're all about in person that may not be translating onto social media? You need to make sure you're showcasing those things in the most important areas like your cover image, like your profile picture and your bio, and of course your posts. You need to make sure that you're thinking about having a good online reputation as opposed to a bad one, you know? And you also need to start thinking about everything you're putting out there is an opportunity to help or hurt you. It's really exciting that you get to shape how you're known online because you put the great stuff out there, you'll get the great opportunities. And don't come unstuck based on something that's completely, with, completely within your control, your online reputation. So good luck with it all, and reach out to me if you've got any questions from here, but enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks very much.